that was a fun start to Monday morning. We got halfway to school, then realised Sammy could wear Mufti if he took us up like a bottle or something for the um, summer fair. So of course, we got halfway back, running. Sammy was running. We also had my hand at the time when he tripped over. Of course, he pulled me over as well. So I grazed my hand and my knee, and they're absolutely throbbing. Um, not so much my knees, so much it's my hand. Because if I grazed my knees, it pulled all the skin off my hand as well, so it really hurts. Yeah, so that was a fun start to Monday morning, wasn't it? So hopefully, you're going to get better. I have decided not to go to the gym today after falling over this morning. My knee and my hand is really, really throbbing. So hopefully, she'll, get, she'll be able to go to tomorrow. Also, had a phone call from Ben's school. He's not very happy, he keeps banging his ears. So, we have some why just in case anything happens. Uh, I think it must be his teeth playing him up or something. I just don't know what's wrong with him at the minute. We get hormones, crazy. But anyway, also then, probably still give me a chance to do the washing and strip the boys' beds. We'll need to strip those. Hopefully, get them dry. And then also, I know Steve wants to do some editing, so we're going to do some of that. And hopefully, fingers crossed. Anyway, for the tea tonight, we can see we've got some boiled potatoes with some broccoli. And then to go with that, I've got some lean pork chops in my fryer. I absolutely love my fryer. It's a hello, healthy, good bread thing. thing. And it's about, I need to get a new one actually. I've had this about two years, two, three years. I'm not sure why he's using it, so I do need to get a new one. So maybe I might have to get myself a new one of those because I'd be lost if anything happens to that. Tell you the truth, since we've had this cooker here, I never actually use the grill because I'm always using that. Or I do a form and grill Well, it's here. almost nine o'clock now, and Ben's still wide awake. He's had a sleeping mess, but it doesn't seem to work tonight. Again, I don't know. If you how much he's been active at school today, I just don't know. But something's changed in his bedtime routine to make him not want to sleep. Hopefully it's just a phase we're going through again. But it just seems to be the last couple of weeks he's been doing this. Hopefully when we get down to Butlins, it'll wear him up and he'll sleep a bit better. He slept really well down Weymouth. But well, I just hopefully it's not a, hopefully it's not a permanent thing and he'll settle back down to his regular routine soon. All I know is it's wearing me and Stephen out and we're really well, losing on that sleep. Nine and he's finally just gone off to sleep. Hopefully he'll stay asleep now. Um, just wondering, what time do you all put your 11 year olds to bed? Part of us thinking 8 o'clock for an 11 year old is a bit too early. But then again, he does get up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, so he needs to sleep. Anyway, that's it for Tuesday, Monday, sorry. It's Tuesday tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow will be a better. Good morning everyone, welcome to Tuesday. Just heading off to the post office now to post some pop badges again. Managed to swap. Obviously when we went to work castle on Sunday, managed to get a few spares of the horrid history's maze thing. So I managed to swap them for a, a few pop badges that Sammy hasn't got that he wants. So I'm off to do that. Hopefully there won't be a queue in the post office today. Um, I think it depends where we were trying to go in because sometimes you can wait in there for a good half an hour. I know, the thing is, it's, I don't need Wade or anything like that, that I just want proof of postage with them, that's all I need. But unfortunately, you still need to do that at the post office. But anyway, weather as it is, isn't too bad today. Hopefully, I should be able to get the boys' beds um, washed, stripped, and dried this morning. So that'd be good because I know that's been changed. And Sam keeps saying he wants, his, he wants his bed changed, which is fair enough. And hopefully, this afternoon, back off to the gym. Um, I was thinking yesterday because my little accident yesterday. My knee's okay now, but my hands are a little bit sore. Well, so hopefully, next few days, it's just start, start to hear a bit better. As you can hear, you can hear a bird somewhere, or in the trees, which is good. Obviously, it was a bit better morning as well this morning. Bit stomach. Then slept to about quarter to seven, and I got really happy, really smiley. I did give him some water pray for this morning before he went to school, so hopefully that will off any pain for his tooth. And Sammy was again happy, he was really happy this morning. He couldn't wait to get to school, which was great. Hopefully it will last. I think we had two bad days with him just recently, so hopefully we're the worst patch of Sam, Sammy. Just need to try and get over this patch of Ben. I'm going to try and start eating a bit healthy. I know I will go to the gym, but I feel that the gym isn't working at the minute because obviously we're not eating very healthily. So this is day two of eating healthily. I've actually allowed myself one small fun size little bar like this, like there's a chocolate because I find that helps will keep my craving away. So let's find out and jump on the scale, anyway, shall we? Let's jump on the scale we? so we see how much we weigh. 
But according to the scales, I'm nine, 11 stone 12. I'm not too quite sure if these are right. And I have got my shoes oh my on. God, I'm quite shocked sure about those results, actually. 11 stone 12. I have been that weight for ages. I don't even think I was that much weight when I was pregnant with the boys. But never mind. These are give something to work towards. And knowing the fact that I could try, if possible, try and lose at least a stone before we um go away in the end of next month. So I think my problem is I actually pick the cupboards. I think if I could get out the habit of picking, it will probably help. But anyway, yeah, stuff so like I'll be going to the gym. I can probably go to the gym every day now, that'll probably help. Not just not so much doing my weights every day. So I do um cardio five times a week obviously and do weights twice a week, twice three times a week or something like that. But yep. So this is my nice day. healthy lunch I've got. As you can see I've got three flatbreads here, home and flatbreads. I'm gonna try this for the nice bit of lettuce, um some ham, some tomatoes and some cheese. Thought they'd be quite nice for my lunch. So here we are, we're just off to the gym. <laughs> Quite as I say, it's a bit, it's a bit cloudy out here, isn't it? But it's over cast. It feels, yeah, I yeah. know. Oh, anyway, just want to tell you my experience with buttons. Um, I'm impressed with them so far. Phoned them up this morning, spoke to the restaurant manager at Skeggy where I go in, and they can actually cater for Ben's gluten free, which is great. I said he won't go hungry. Also, they say there's nothing specific on the menu that he liked. Um, they could cook something he liked fresh, which I thought was amazing. Because in Haven, there's only two things to cook off the menu. Only one thing they said they can't provide is bread, which is fair enough. So we'll take that down. Um, but they said they can store it for us and cook it separately to all the normal bread, which I think is amazing. So I just can't wait for a holiday now. Work quite any little lip potholes here, there. Like you said, Venetia from this to like, what you just here, look, just do the whole there. from there, do the whole bit around here. But yeah, but how steep is it? Like, even on there, look, even that side of the road looks absolutely silly. Absolutely oh, well, silly. Welcome to Wednesday. It is what's the time? 10 o'clock, well, 10 to 10. Just come back from doing a 45 minute workout at the gym. Just done some cardio today. And it's quite it's quite quiet now this morning. I just might do go in there soon stop Sammy off. But anyway, it's a lovely day outside so I can make the most of it. Um got a bit more washing to get washed, loose so I'll get it dry, which is good. Um they're picking the car up this afternoon to get that repaired. That's it seems really silly really. They're gonna take um three days just to do a light and a respray. But at least it's gonna get done, that's the main thing. So then that'll give us a chance then this afternoon to clean pepper out. Um you get them have a run out while the, you have a bit of run while the kids aren't here. Not only that, I only got loads of clothes well, to put away and also need to do a bit of sorting out in the garage. So that's the plan for today. Again, I've had, we've had the phone call from Frank Wise, pick Ben up. Apparently he's distressed. They're giving cow pole and stuff like that, so we've got to bring him home. I think half, it could be his tooth. I think it might be his tooth because he's suffering with his teeth. But then again, he's tired. He isn't, as you know, he isn't sleeping properly. Um, it was obviously quarter past ten-ish when he was asleep last night and then woke up again at, well I was awake about quarter past, about six-ish I think he was. Anyway, it's weird how, truthfully, when we go out on weekends we can make him sleep and when he's at school he doesn't want to sleep. So obviously I don't think school are wearing him out as much as they should be. But anyway, yeah, so Stephen's got, obviously we've gone in, the, Stephen's had to go in the hire car. Um, because obviously our car's being picked up today. Just hope Stephen doesn't need to sign for it. Of, of, obviously because he just have to go and pick Ben up which to me is just crazy but anyway just have to see what well, happens here we go here's Ben come over from school look he seems perfectly fine he's head on to the kitchen because they didn't give him nothing to his dinner which is ridiculous we picked Stephen picked him up a quarter to one he's supposed to have his dinner at 12 so we didn't have anything for dinner which is pain which I'm not very happy about they made him starve so here he goes Ben he's sitting down now even he's 
having a bit of his lunch because obviously school didn't want to give him anything. Rather annoyed that we paid for school dinner, he couldn't have one. And was obviously now we thought that his ears, he didn't like I said, he come home from school and was back with Ben. Happy. They didn't give him any lunch, even though we paid for a lunch. I know we get carried over, but I'm annoyed that they didn't give him anything. They could have gave him something. Um, they said they didn't want to set his tooth off again, whatever. But anyway, he's come home absolutely starving. So he's eating a bit of a lunch here. Aren't you, Ben? He seems to come home, he's been home the last 10, 15 minutes now, and he hasn't actually banged his ears once. So I do think half of it is, I do think half of the fact is he just isn't tired, he's, he might be tired. Um, well obviously he isn't, obviously he isn't sleeping properly. Again, he doesn't seem worn out anymore or tired like he used to be. But anyway, so I'm not very happy with front wise at the You're minute. doing that Ben, is that nice? There you go, yeah. as you can see Ben's perfectly fine, bouncing backwards and forwards, rocking mm -hmm. in his chair. Honey Ben, mm -hmm. hey? This one's an afternoon, we well, know you're swimming now. <laughs> and you're yeah, swimming again. I don't know what we're going to do with you, eh? Pardon? But as you can see, he's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with him at all. Exactly, I got the opportunity at school. I was diving. I didn't want to go to school, so I thought I, I thought I'll fake being hurt or injuring myself so I get the afternoon <laughs> off. Aren't you? you should be doing that, you're not very well. Are you? You've got to, you keep banging your ears all the time, you're in, just, you're in constant distress. Ooh, that's funny. But, off we go. Amazing how you can jump, though, Ben, on that, isn't it? Hey, there we go. Hey, and using your arms as well. Do I jump? Jump. Wee! You'll be doing somersaults on that next, Benji. When ya? Well, this is our hire car now. And, well, sorry, I'll cut the car to our as it's gone in Wednesday. They reckon it's going to take till Monday. It seems crazy just to do a light panel and a respray. But anyway, what make is it? Let's have a look. It's a W Golf. Is that 66? So, yeah, I don't know. It's obviously it's a lot smaller than what we're used to. Unloaded, isn't it? Unloaded, super unloaded it takes. Mm. So. We're also like inside. Oh, this is one of the posh ones actually. It's got the stop. It's got the stop start engine, which is quite different. I suppose, I suppose it's more or less the same sort of system as the like ours really, isn't it? I imagine. But anyway, it didn't look too bad. What's the biggest space like inside? Small. Is it small? Yeah. Let's have a look. It'll do for now anyway. It's weird. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it's a bit small. Can't get much jumping in there, can we? Oh well, I'll do it. I'll do it on Monday, Tuesday, or well, the Tuesday. Don't so forget, I won't go up Monday. It's my birthday. I know. I've said it's all right. Wait for the gopher's one. Hang on, come round here. What's that? What's that? What's that? What do you like? What do you like? Look, what's the matter? What do you like? Hmm. Ooh, how pass. Ew. Ew, but it was sat nav, eh? And that looked good. So yeah, so it's alright. Like I said, lots definitely you can tell it's definitely lots more to throw on but it'll do for us. You had an amazing day at school too, haven't you? And we've got a new car now. But it's only tomorrow. Is that a new car? Yeah. I think it's a, no, a car's only for tomorrow. Anyway, you've had a really 
And you had a really great day at school, which is great. The question is, should he stay or should he go? That's the question. Really, because he seems to be getting a lot better at the minute, don't we? Oh, look. See, this poor Mr. Pepper, he doesn't like that he is flat out, bless him. So, anyway. Steve, so what do you reckon to the new hard car then? What do you reckon to your expert opinions on it? It's nice, it's got all the new fancy modern mod gadgets. <laughs> bit, bit smaller than ours though. It's got a fancy brake on it where you didn't even have to touch the damn thing. Well, handbrake you mean? Yeah. Hello. So, a bit smaller than what we're used to them, aren't it? But so it'll do us to Tom Monday, two or Tuesday. You need, to, you need to press it when you're uh, parking up, that's it. What, the handbrake? Yeah. Yeah. Come here, Ben. Yeah? yeah? believe it actually Ben's been home this afternoon so obviously we gave him some lunch because the school didn't give any and then he's been outside on trampoline playing and been outside doing a bits and pieces but he actually went to sleep just after eight o'clock without his sleeping meds we were really quite surprised um normally it lasts but who knows what tomorrow will bring obviously Ben I mean Sammy he was asleep just after eight o'clock as well so yeah it's been nice actually been able to relax a little bit tonight before we get hey, to bed. Well, welcome to Thursday. I've just done another 40, what I say 30, about 45 minute workout in the gym, so to speak. Really good workout, doing some cardio. Obviously, I need to lose this bit of weight here. I need to lose my spare tyre. So I thought about doing my cardio and weights twice a week and then doing just cardio three times a week for half an hour, 45 minutes. Hopefully that might help. But yeah, so it's a lovely day outside. Um, hopefully it will last. To a weekend because we plan to go out on weekend and hopefully Ben will last at school today. He had a few tears going on his bus this morning but up until then he was fine but just have to wait and see how it goes. But yeah anyway so now I'm going to get myself a cup of tea, sit down for the rest of a few minutes and get some do some more work. Hi everyone we're just heading off to Tesco's in a minute get a few bits and pieces um, but also we've had the right to buy paperwork come through so we're just going to have to see the bank on Monday, see if, we've been pre see if we can get pre-approved for a mortgage. If we pass the process, we can actually go and see the financial advisor. So you never know, and we might have some title deeds with the name on hopefully soon. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. But it's going to be strange in one way if we are accepted, we can buy a mortgage, buy a mortgage, have a mortgage to buy this house. But then again, it's going to be good in one way because at least we've got something then to leave the boys, haven't we? Yeah. If anything happens, we just have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, all I care about now is go down to Tesco to get something for dinner. Car, so head down to Tesco, well, the new car, the higher car. One of the things it's quite smart. Look at that. Hey, the built in sat nav, the whole Porsche. They will we get a new car, we should get one with that in. I'm just heading down to Tesco. The whole Porsche is up there, even like you can actually change the radio station. Is it, all t is it touch screen? Yeah. Oh wow, it's touch screen. Heart North Pants. What's that smooth north pants? Well, I guess you put some classic FM on. <laughs> oh well, I'm magic. Now stick back up to north pants, I think. Stick back on that one, that'd be easier, I think. Be a lot easier that one. Will that be the final price then? Yeah. What? Yes. No fucking like stamp duty. No, I should have stamp duty on top of that. Actually, hopefully. Anyway, this is this is my family. So this is my family road. They need to do that roundabout again, don't they? Lovely day, it's a bit cloudy though. What's the temperature? It's only 21 and a half degrees, it's slightly cooler than yesterday, which is good. But we go, I can see a lot of the buses are coming on Bambi Road again now. This isn't what they wanted to try to avoid last time. Look, it's stuck in because of the dustbins. I think it's stupid actually bring the bus along this way again. Why not? They could sit on Pavilion Square. They have a really decent selection of CDs or DVDs, do they? Rubbish, really, some of the section here. We need some more bananas. The, the bananas are all gone. It does, doesn't it? But then again, actually, they're coming with the. No. Uh, 
There's apples at Red and Juice. That's what they polished them. What's over here? There's a gift, Mr. Ben. No, and they're gluten free stuff there. He's got his bagels. I'm trying to say far. Got my sandwich, some juice, and some nannies. They go around. They go around the store, picking things out in a blue basket, and then they walk into the toilet. Oh. Mm. How convenient, they, eh? Pardon me. I said Ben scored some strawberries today. Thank you. What are you having for your dinner then, Dallin? Some bacon. Some bacon for the house. Yeah, we need bacon, don't we? Those are going up to now, those fries you said, they've got £2 a, two pound a go now. They're expensive, aren't they? You have to have my own chips the other night, the other day, yesterday, they'd be nice. Oh, well, yeah, they were nice, your own chips yesterday. Yeah. Very nice. You don't know long, it's just preparation for being lazy. It is, that's what it is. Ooh, broccoli, cauliflower, no, bro cornflower, cauliflower cheese and broccoli to quiche. That sounds horrible. What do they do now? Ooh. Spinach and ricotta, no thank you. I think you have to have some. Uh, oh no, it's not me off your lid. Oh. Oh. Cut their knives, but they're so fat in some of those, aren't they? So I've got my hands here. Do it for milk. You said about butter, didn't you? I think we've got enough for now. No, I'll get some. Yeah? Just running out of this. Well, you can wait till we, you can wait till, you can wait till shopping on Saturday. Yeah. I'll give the value one. Might he has? If he has his way, he'll have a whole bottle of that to himself. <laughs> no, it's like with tomato sauce. It's a nightmare with it. They're quite nice. Look, 32 shots, 393 calories. What are they? Five for two pounds. Look, no. oh, they're saying they look nice. Mm. Those are right for me to bits and pieces, aren't they? Mm. The no, get both cereal. Mm. Yeah, get both cereal. Sammy can have here, Sammy's fine for cereal. Oh, they're still 50p each. I'll get them four. Yeah, get them four. I might eat some though. Well, there are enough for they. Five for two. Do you want some of them? Yeah. Okay. What's I got down here? Hey. I've got the free from free stuff. I think Ben's alright for now, I need this free stuff. Mm. Look, Mr. Kipling has got some wheat and gluten free apple loaf cake now. Oh no, they've got ginger. Oh, they've got, oh, they got ginger in them. <coughs> Few bits we've got so far. What water it is. Exactly, what comes from the tap. Well, they've got it for Father's Day. So it's for, for Dad. I ain't got a clue what to get him, you know? I have got a clue what to get him. Mm. Another good day for Sammy at school today, which is great. Uh, I think he's settling down a little bit now. Uh, we just need to learn to wait and be patient. But trying to tell a nine year old that is a bit of a nightmare. And we'll just need to find out how Ben's got on today. Um, my is getting to the doctors for 20 to 5. Just check the ears. Nothing wrong with his ears. He hasn't got an ear infection or something. But I have also got some 
clove oil or something it's clove oil or something anyway to put on his teeth because apparently I was supposed to be good if you've got toothache and abscess and stuff because it's quite a natural thing or something I don't know something on the internet so anyway I'll try that and see how that goes um, and if he obviously and if he hasn't got an ear infection it is his teeth and I will find it at the dentist tomorrow see if I can get him an emergency appointment for him or something it's not fair to be in this much pain but then again like I said he was perfectly fine yesterday so I don't know what it is maybe it's not like school anymore I don't know but Hi see how it goes. welcome to a lovely sunny Friday morning um, I'm just off to the hairdressers in a bit to get all this chopped off I haven't decided how short I've got to have it cut yet I just think I might just go for a bob or something might mind that when I get there. It's got to the point now, as you can see, it's getting too long. I think my hair's, so my hair's halfway down my back now. And then it gets to the point where Ben will yank it every time he wants attention and it hurts. So I thought I'd just get it chopped off. Knowing that as soon as I treat myself, obviously because I'm 40 on Monday, which is, seems really scary, he said treat myself to have my hair cut. So I'm going to get my hair cut. But now, yeah, so I'm just off to make myself a cup of tea. I'm then ready for I go to the hairdressers. Um, obviously, quite a good day so far this morning. Sammy, we got into school, started talking to his friend. Not too quite sure of her name. I know she's in year five, so it's it's nice for him to have it. It's nice for him to have a friend. Ben seemed happy going to school this morning again. So hopefully that blockage on his ears might be going slowly. I'm gonna go down to Boots and get him some olive oil um, drops or something. They said, and that can help clear the blockage. So. Hopefully that will work. And I should actually get my hair cut and there's the length now. I'm really pleased with the length. It's not too long, it's not too short, just right for me. I don't want to see how long it'll take to grow now. Not too quite sure if I can go to the gym yet this afternoon. I haven't decided yet, it depends how steep and feels when he gets home from work. Yeah. Well it's all a bit cloudy outside, but even more washing, with some washing would dry. on the computer? Yeah. Aren't you? I'm a good boy at school. You have been a really good boy at school. You've been a really good boy at school all week, haven't you? I want to go in a new car tonight. It's not a new car. It's like a hard car to see car, isn't it? Until Daddy's is fixed. Isn't it? Yeah? I'm sorry. I don't know. It's Peppa. He's had a nice run out this afternoon while the kids have been at school. Thank you, Peppa. Got a nice clean bum as well. Here's Stephen, playing fever as you can tell he's losing, 4-0, you're being hammered, <laughs> practice my dear, that's what you need, practice. So just in the process of cooking tea, means they've got some gammon steaks you can see, that they look nice, just turn them over. Look at all the fat that's come out of those, unbelievable, and obviously we've got some new potatoes and some carrots, obviously these are the new ones we got today that come from Abel and Co, quite looking forward to the because we have one to our are really nice. Obviously, um, I did a separate vlog on the Abel and Co, which I'll put down the bottom. We then want to see what we got. And obviously then the kids have got chips in there, and underneath and they're cooking in there, they've got some um, dinosaurs. Well, Sam has got dinosaurs, and Ben's got one of his gluten-free um, fish cake things. Outside is not as usual. Ben's on his trampoline, been bouncing away, ain't you, Ben Jay? He's had a better day today. If they need a cow pod once at 12 o'clock, so hopefully that block is now finally clearing up his ears. Hopefully the olive oil is actually helping. Quick look at the garden. Look, as you can tell, they started, well, it's on it, a couple of these, but actually started flowering, which is great. So hopefully they'll start um, having rain soon, which would be ideal. You need to notice how I run the beans now. I started they're working right around the poles. That's good. More potatoes. Even our little carrots have started growing again now. I don't know what that is. Or the other thing there, which is in the ground, I've got a clue what that is. And also my strawberries over here. It'd be nice to get a few strawberries off of here. I thought I actually lost them in the frost. But no, they come back to life. That's great. So looking forward to having some of our organic strawberries. Ben, oh, jump in one leg, eh? Yeah. Mm. 
You can tell I took his trainers off. You don't like socks or shoes on, do you, Ben? <coughs> well, it's just gone well 8 o'clock. Both boys are fast asleep now. So me and Steve are going to sit down and watch something together. Um, and so I'm going to say goodnight. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow for the start of the weekend vlog. Bye-bye.